On the 19th day of Christmas, the band was back on tour again. Miss Box, who was beginning to suspect that perhaps this band wasn't even located on Earth, had gotten a call from the three kids at the orphanage. They thought that Miss Box knew everything and presented themselves as part of the Juliana crew. Now that Raven was on tour and so busy, they didn't want to take up too much of her time and thought that maybe Miss Box could leave her a message. They went on trying to convince her how the orphanage was a very nice place. They'd been given some strange pills because they'd tried to improve some of the toys in the orphanage. And the only entertainment they had now was Snowflake, who was unable to count her fingers. But other than that, they were fine, they said. The band was playing the first of three concerts in the North Atlantic. For kids whose parents mostly worked at sea, the local kids had been following the band and knew the songs well. Living in a remote location, the kids were used to visiting boats in the harbor and sometimes airplanes. And for the first time, the band would allow visitors into the plane. The airport, just outside of town, was built and sponsored by the locals. And the runway was just long enough for the 747 band plane to land and make a full turn. The families had brought food and the mayor of the small town came over to say hi. Raven had no intention of leaving behind a bunch of good hands and potential space travelers who might actually function aboard the Uliana for a year. <laughs> 